The world is full of good news. The following are just a few. The European Union formally ratifies its March 2010 pledge to provide more than 1.2 billion euros in post-quake aid to Haiti to help the nation in longer-term rebuilding efforts. At a two-day conference in The Hague, Netherlands, delegates from 80 countries working with the United Nations International Labour Organization agree to renew a global goal to protect youth through a campaign to eliminate child trafficking and labour. Legendary international musicians and performers such as Elton John, Bruce Springsteen, Mary J. Blige and Sting come together for the biennial Rainforest Foundation Benefit Concert in Carnegie Hall, New York City, USA. Following Pakistan's massive landslides in January that blocked the only road between China and Pakistan, China continues her assistance by constructing a two-kilometer passageway and helping with relocation efforts for affected residents. The mothers of detained American hikers Shane Bauer, Sarah Shord, and Josh Vital express appreciation for the Iranian government's permission for a first visit, appealing at the same time for their children's immediate release. Tunisian President Zine El Abedin Ben Ali and Chinese Foreign Minister Yang Jiechi discuss improving relations in fields of economy, trade, infrastructure, culture, and education between the two countries. The U.S. based search engine giant Google announces the freely available Wave product, which merges functions such as email, online chat, and social networking for more effective project collaboration among groups or teams. Speaking to the press, Russian ambassador to Azerbaijan, Vladimir Doroshin, conveys his country's ready willingness to respond to any request for help from neighboring Azerbaijan following recent severe floods that damaged crops and property. Nine-year-old Casey Weissel from Brookline, Massachusetts, United States, makes and sells bracelets, raising $876 U.S. dollars and 25 cents to help quake-affected residents of Haiti. Moroccan and Kuwaiti parliamentary committee members discuss the establishment of a strategic cooperation between the two countries, as well as increasing trade exchange, economic, and social cooperation. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon and a State Department spokesperson for the administration of U.S. President Barack Obama call for more peaceful action between the Thai government and the Red Shirt Movement.